Creating a Google group is easy. After you know the type of group you want to create, just fill out some basic information and you're ready to go. In this video of Google Groups, we're going to learn how to create our group, choose and learn the difference between the group types, set up the basic permissions, and invite our members. So let's get started. To get to the Google Groups homepage, go to groups.google.com in a Chrome browser. You can create any of several different types of groups depending on the group's purpose. The most common type of groups are email lists, web and Q&A forms, and collaborative inboxes. Email lists are just like an email list. You create an email so that everyone can send messages to everyone in the group. You'll be able to send messages, share files, including documents, sites, videos, and calendars, and invite group members to meetings. A web form is a form on a particular subject that anyone in your organization can join. These are good for common interests, expertise, or different work functions. A Q&A form might be a form on your website um, where people can mark best answers to different web resources and they're archived as a knowledge base for customers. Uh, and then collaborative inbox where you're going to have a common address such as support at yourcompany.com and you'll be able to assign incoming messages to the group members so that you can track the status, um, categorize different posts and you can find them later. It's great for support tickets, sales inquiries, and other customer requests. At groups.google.com, click Create Group. Fill out the information on the page, such as your group name, the group's email address, and your group type that we've discussed earlier. Then, the permissions you'd like to set for that group. Here, I'll type in our group name, and we can change the group email address to anything that you want. This is going to be the email address that you'll send calendar invites to and share drive files and folders with. Underneath, you'll notice the web address. This is the address to the Google group, so other team members can view the form on its own. Otherwise, they'll get messages from their email inbox as they arrive, if chosen. The group description will show up in the Google Groups directory, whether public or internal within the domain. For this group, we're going to choose a collaborative inbox because we want to assign topics to other members within the group. From here, we can select all the participants that we want to be able to assign tasks to within the group. Under Basic Permissions, specify who can view the posts, post messages, and join the group by assigning roles. A member can post to the group, while a manager can post to the group and approve, add, and remove members and an owner can create the group and add members by default. The group's creator is an owner, but you can add other owners too. In our list, we'll choose who can view the topics, the posts, and join the group. Click Create, and then click OK. I'm going to show you how to invite people to join the group here in this next part of the video. First, you'll get prompted to set up your profile so you can link this to your Google profile. And then once you have everything set up the way you like it, click the Save My Changes button. When you're the owner of the group, you'll be able to manage the members right underneath the group name. 
after creating a group, add people to it by either inviting them to join or adding them yourself. Click Manage Members. Under Members, click Invite Members to invite them to join or Direct Add to add them yourself and enter in the email address. If you can't add people outside of your company, see your G Suite administrator. Then write an invitation message and click send invites or add to add members directly. Thanks for watching this video on how to create a Google group. Our next video is going to be on collaborating with your team. So stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.